What's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy Next Gen 720, and I am back with a fucking a, a jar of Kool Aid. Ghetto. What's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy Next Gen 720, and I am back with another video. Yes, um, I know I say this all the time. I'm about to get on my dean. I'm about to get on my dean. But listen, I'm back. I'm, I'm working. I'm working. I told you guys my new thing. We're going to be live streaming every, just about, well, I'll try it every day. Um, if you don't know, be, um, well, I'm not going to get into that. But anyway, I got to get a major surgery. Uh, yay, but listen, but I'm going to get it in as long as I can, where I can. Uh, but enough of that. Like I said, but I'm working on something exclusive for my live stream. Um, not my hour. I don't, I don't like to say my. But like I said, I told you guys I was looking for streamers. I was looking for people. You know, everyone wants to do a show or whatever the case. But I'm bringing something exclusively to my live stream channel. That's going to be like once a week. And this is going to be, um, I hope to be as big, if not bigger than, you know, BGST. Um, and, 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 but I'm going to give it once a week or every other week. Like once, probably once a week, maybe. Uh, for the first start off, we're going to give away games. Uh, every, I think the show is going to be a Friday. Uh, we're going to give away Injustice 2. Um, Red Dead Redemption, Tekken 7, you know what I mean? All those games like that, we're going to give them away, um, you know, once a week, you know what I mean? To build the audience. But anyway, in the way of me saying, like I said, thank you for rocking out with me. Um, if you want to get down with the show, like I said, I'm looking for streamers. I'm looking for people, you know, that want to do podcasts and stuff like that uh, to holler at me. Um, I'm going to leave the link down below, like I said, again, to my stream, to my Bean channel. Uh, and also, too, like I said, if you, uh, some people want to channel art or, uh, if you rock out with me, if you want to leave a, how you say, a dollar donation, whatever, it's all welcome, it's all appreciated, like I'm trying to bring something, I have two, I have three, four sponsors already, you know what I mean, um, four sponsors, I'm, I'm happy, real cool cats, my man Garrett, my man Jesse, and I hope to bring, put something together that you guys, uh, love, you know me, you know I got a sense of humor, so, but with this show, this show here, but you know right now, it's not all going to be about gaming, we're going to talk about everything under the sun. You know, you guys know how I like about religion. I love my Jesus. The UFOs, the aliens, uh, you know, video games, everything. You know what I mean? We're going to talk about everything on this show. It's not all speak about games. But anyway, getting right into today's video. A very, really, very really interesting article. Uh, actually, they did the same thing with the PS4 Pro. You see, the f five reasons or ten reasons uh, that you should upgrade to the PS4 Pro. But now they have one about, you know... Five, give you five good reasons why you should upgrade your Xbox One S or your Xbox One and get the Project Scorpio. And I'm gonna go over a few of these things here. Some of them, yeah, but I'm gonna keep it. Let me keep it honest. What she said, here go five good reasons uh, that you should upgrade to, you know, Xbox One. The first reason that they bring up is AMD's uh, FreeSync and HDMI 2.1. Basically, with with this here, what you're gonna get with Project Scorpio. And the new, you know, GP, GPU they have anyway. First, you're gonna get HDMI 2.1. Um, also, too, you're gonna get uh, AMD FreeSync. Basically, and put that in, in layman's terms, not to get too technical, it's gonna do away with t screen tearing and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Uh, it ref I actually it, it refreshes and it's so, all. Listen, listen. Uh, what is my wife? It hits you now. It uh you know I mean it does what basically the basic thing they gotta get for some money the basic thing that it does it does away with you know with screen tearing you know what I mean refresh rates and stuff like that uh yeah second thing that they give you is um here take the money at the box oh here let's see how here see how they can't see the camera here they can't see you can see how they always they, they, they think my wife is fat black and dark skin. Why the hell is the problem being dark skin and fat? Oh, shit. Light, light, light skin nigga. Shit, here. Here you go. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah. uh, here you go. How much you need? It's like, t like $11. $11? Like $11. Jesus. Here, take, take the 20. Give me my change. Oh, my God. What do you need $11 for? Yeah. All right. Go to your mother. It's only one. I'm sorry. Anyway, you get uh, AMD's, uh, you know, the new frenzy. Let me take that with, with AMD. Also, that you're going to get... It's going to improve your existing games. This is the most important thing. It's going to improve your existing games. Um, it's going to, you know, if they're non 100 p of course, they're going to bring them to uh, make them 4K60, um, native 4K60, and a higher 
uh, graphic fidelity. Not only is it going to bring up the resolution to, if they were 900p, you're going to bring it up to 4K, native 4K, 60 frames a second, but you're going to also have a higher graphic fidelity. You know what I mean? Very, very important. Very, very important. I think that's the most important thing to me, better than a higher resolution. You know, I'm a graphics whore. Anyway, um, that's number two. It's oh, another thing that's very, very important to me. You're going to get 4K 60 uh, game DVR. You know what I mean? Out of the box. You don't need no Elgato. You don't need no game media. Nothing. You can be able to record 4K 60 out of the box. Dope stuff. That's that's number three. Now, the, the AMD, like I said, the screen tearing, I don't really, you know what I mean? It is what it is. I, I, I don't pay attention to stuff like that. Uh, but the improve my existing games, I think that's dope. Uh, 4K 60 gameplay capture, that's ill. What else do they have here? Games. 90% of the games. I'm not saying all games, but everything that we've been playing from 2013 up to now, uh, or what, what the engines that they have now, the Scorpio can handle 4K 60. It's so you're going to get native 4K 60 visuals. Uh, that's kind of repetitive. The first thing it says here. Um, and this is the last thing they have here. Virtual reality exclusive. Now listen. My man D. My D swear, My man D. He swears by uh, VR. I have yet to try. And I wanted to get the PlayStation VR. I couldn't see myself paying $500 to play one game. I'm just to be honest with you. I mean one or two games. You know, but I'm an Xbox fanboy, man. So I may just get the Scorpio. Whatever VR is out, like I said, I do want to try it. So, you know what I mean? But they say you, they, uh, Aaron Greenberg came out and announced a couple of days ago uh, that you are going to have some exclusive VR titles for Project Scorpio. And I, this is my, my cat's in the heat, and I got to get them fixed. That's where we're going tomorrow. He's just singing love songs. I mean, I'm sorry, sidebar. He'll be in the, in the window, 2 o'clock in the morning. Singing to cats, oh baby, you, you got what I. I'm like, oh day, you know what I mean? Like, I normally when they get a cat, they're neutered, and I used to see female female cats going heat. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm talking about some shit I ain't supposed to be talking about. But he's back to meowing him. He's in heat. He's going to get neutered tomorrow. He's going to get seventy five bucks. I got it right. Here. He's going to get neutered tomorrow. He's going to get neutered tomorrow. He say, take my money. He's going to get oh, shit. He's going to get neutered tomorrow. So anyway, um, for, uh, yeah. So VR, I have yet to try VR, so I don't, I don't know much about that. Uh, I, 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 I've always said this again. I think VR is something that uh, maybe doesn't show well on the screen. You have to experience it. So I, don't, uh, I know Oculus Rift is having some problems financially. I don't know if they're still in business. Uh, but HTV Vive, which is the high-end one, they think was $700. Uh, I know Microsoft are coming out with some affordable H H I think HP were making the sets for like two or three hundred bucks. So we're gonna see. Uh, we're gonna they're gonna post to show some VR stuff here at E3. So we're, we're gonna see. Um, also, too, I want to say um, it was something else I wanted to say, or did I say about everything in this video? Life came, took my money, catch me out, and my Beam. Listen, guys, follow me on Beam. I, I I've, I've been live streaming for about a week and a half. I got almost 650 followers. I uh, appreciate it. Like I said, we'll be back on tonight. Also, too, later on today, maybe the multiplayer podcast. We're bringing that back. I haven't heard from Porter Rock. Literally, I reached out to him twice. I just reached out to Porter Rock. Porter Rock said, now listen, listen. Now, you know we do the show every Thursday. I, try to try to get, I don't like to have all Xbox people up there. I like to get a mix of people in there. You know what I mean? It's no fun if it's all X. I like to get, you know, PlayStation guys, ponies, or whatever. And you know, Porter Rock is my resident pony. Now, since they announced Project Scorpio... I have not heard from Porter Rock. I bullshit you not. Mind you, the niggas always, you know, always texting me, talking slick. I haven't heard from him. I swear, let me hit this Kool-Aid. Anyway, this is your boy next year, December 20. Get ready for the multiplayer podcast. You hear that, cat? Sh shut up! Look like that. Sorry. I'm out of here, man. Bang. Pray for me and my family.